asking two questions. Number one, a number of banks in Nigeria run foreign software, meaning that the licensing is in dollars, the ordinary recurring cost is in dollars, whereas their local capacities to develop banking software, not only for the purpose of saving our foreign currencies, even for national security and the stability of financial system. So my first question is, they seen what will you be doing to ensure that we domesticate the technology, the software in particular, that run our banking system. Number two, also related to that, is the increasing incidence of cyber crimes, cyber fraud. Customers are losing money. Financial systems, financial institutions are also losing money on an increasing basis. I think your team, this new team, will also have to look closely to ensure that we do not undermine the confidence in the financial system or even the drive towards technology with increasing loss of money by customer and financial institutions. And I'll sit down with a third question, a very small one. Our fintech, one area Nigerians have demonstrated capacity is in financial technology space. Our fintechs are not only operating in Nigeria, they are operating outside the shores of Nigeria, and we know a lot of them. However, Nigeria is not taking full benefit of these efforts, of these initiatives, because a lot of them are legally domiciled outside the country, meaning that even their revenue in dollars are not recorded as part of the inflow into the country. It's also one area that I think the new CBN governor and his team will have to look at so that as we, as we develop the fintech, we also take the full benefit of their efforts and their foray into other countries to have an impact on the economy of Nigeria, particularly our foreign exchange. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, for allowing me to ask these questions.